And welcome back to another Suns and Shadows cast. Thank you for tuning in. We have a new Sunbox video. We got a new little pickup set we got going on here. We have some fun little soundtracks. We got a book. We got a couple Blu-rays. So let's go ahead and get right into this. We got Tremors. So thank you, La La Land. We love getting movie soundtracks that we actually will listen to. This is a nice little anniversary. Um, the 32nd anniversary of Tremors just happened. So this is going to be an excellent, fun little, little watch. And then we got Friday the 13th, Henry Manfredi. Looking forward to this as well. This is like the ultimate cut. Uh, we didn't get in on like the autograph. There was an option to get that early on, but that's okay. We just love the soundtrack enough. We just want this. Besides, we already have an autograph from the Friday the 13th, the video game, which is downstairs in a different room. But then we also have the 30th anniversary of Big Trouble in Little China. So we got a double disc set for John Carpenter. This is going to be excellent as well. And then we have one of my personal favorites, Stargate David Arnold. This is going to be very good. Um, I love this movie, and some of these are limited sets. Um, some of these are just to, to 3,000. You can still get these. Just go to La La Land Records. Thank you, uh, Richard Diaz. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gone to check out for that Friday the 13th, The Ultimate Cut. I did not know about that, so I got to pick up a few extra items just on the side. And in book news, Tremors fans, um, I picked up Tucker's Monsters. This is a fictional story by S.S. Wilson, Steve Wilson, director of Tremors 2. And he, he's written most of the Tremors movies and the show. He was one of the executive producers on the show. We're actually going to be covering the show on our podcast, Suns and Shadows cast. That's going to be coming up. So it's very exciting. And I'm getting like back into like, hey, the things I don't have from Tremors that I would totally like to get into. You wrote a fictional book. I have not read it yet, so I am very excited to check this out. And then in acquisition news, thank you, Orbit DVD, we got Battle Royale, the standard edition from Arrow. So this is the 4K release. Since I have a PS5, I can actually now watch those. That took forever to try and get one, but this is going to be excellent. I did not get the limited edition set. I didn't really need... Part two, I'm not really a fan of part two, but part one is excellent. And I can't wait to check this out, 4K. This is a two disc set. It's still got a nice little uh, box on it. It's just not the gigantic box that had like everything else in it, like the maps and all the soundtracks and part two. And then I got Fant Eric's Revenge, Phantom of the Mall. Uh, I haven't seen this one in an extremely long time. I think it's just a typical run-of-the-mill slasher. I love my slasher films, but I think this is just kind of an average one. But I like it enough, and this has not been on Blu-ray before. So this is with Arrow, and it should be an excellent transfer with a bunch of goodies on it. I know it's the limited edition set. I can see the book and the poster going right on already. So my Arrow collection just keeps growing and growing by the week. All right. I don't have much else, but if you are into podcasts, please check us out at Sons and Shadows Cast. We have covered Ash vs. Evil Dead, Mystery Science Theater 3000, the Comedy Central era. We have covered The Office, the United Kingdom version, and we are shortly going to be covering Tremors, the series, and a bunch of fun other canceled TV shows, trying to make sure that we keep their memory alive. So thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you down the road. Uh -huh.